Hi folks, today we're going to take a look at Press NH Now, where he goes to try to file a federal civil rights lawsuit, serves the chief of police, and makes some outrageous demands. But before we start today's video, as always, a big thank you to all of my current and new channel members and subscribers. Without your guys' continuous ongoing support, I couldn't keep this channel going, so I want to thank you all personally from the bottom of my heart. And if you're new to this channel, please subscribe to the page. Leave a like and a comment because it helps me with the algorithm. Don't forget to check out my second channel, NCR Movie Network, and the Shit Town Florida Man Power Ranking Podcast. Episode 11 is out right now. With all that being said, let's enjoy today's video. What's going on, everyone? This is Press NH Now over here today in the city of Conquer, New Hampshire, at the United States Federal District Court for New Hampshire. And the reason why we are here today is finally I am going to be filing my 1983 lawsuit on Charlestown, New Hampshire, Patrick Connors, Chief of Police, for violating my rights almost three years ago to the day. I am here to file that lawsuit uh, days prior to the, um, to the date of actually being able to file. Um, you have three years to file your paperwork and civil lawsuit uh, from the date of the arrest, which was presumably October 27th, 2021. I did as well uh, give Chief Connors after I was found not guilty. Please make sure you go check out that playlist on my channel at Press NH Now playlist, Charlestown, New Hampshire playlist. Uh, look at the saga and uh, BS that all happened uh, throughout that whole ordeal. Pretty interesting story, uh, it is continuing. I know a lot of my followers and subscribers were um, telling me that I need to file a lawsuit. And uh, after, you know... Um now, it's funny that he brings up his followers because Press NH Now was arrested at the Charlestown Police Department for having his followers call flood them. Yes, during a live stream, he went there to do a public records request and get some body cam footage. Meanwhile, while he was live streaming, he had instructed his followers to begin to call flood and complain to the point where it jammed up their phone systems for three days straight. After the trial, I went back to the town hall and I also went to the chief of police, Patrick Connors, at the Charlestown Police Department to see um you know if he's learned anything have you learned anything literally from this trial it, it, rights you know civil rights i mean just transparency uh, anything yeah there's a lot of lessons to be learned okay as in what i mean like what like have you done any you know constitutional training with your department or have you done any training regarding it we have or are you training. planning on it we've had training you've had tra like what kind of training do you suggest like constitutional rights training i mean civil rights training we've been briefed you know, my guys have been briefed about... Prior to or after my case? They should have known already, so... Well, you should have. You're the one who made the arrest, Connors. All right. Well, listen. <laughs> Come on. The arrest... The, the arrest is over with. You I know it's over with. You found not guilty. Yeah. I'll be the first one to shake your hand over that. Yeah, well, actually, I'd like a public apology, to be honest. So... And to be honest, if you resigned in the next 30 days, I may not even go forward with anything else in court. You can go forward with whatever you oh, want. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm asking. Sorry. I'm demanding that you yeah. resign your well, position. I'm not re Bottom line? Not going to happen. Not gonna happen. No, not gonna happen. Designing, so. And I did live stream that, so you could also check that out as well. All links will be in the description for that and t uh, top pinned comment as well. Um, if you haven't seen those videos, make sure you go do so and keep uh, updated on the whole situation so you are aware of what's going on today. Um, I did talk to Chief Connors um, soon after my trial date which i think was october 6th if i'm not mistaken of 2022 a year later i was found not guilty on obstructing government administration and also disorderly conduct and then i was arrested a week later uh, on a warrant for a bail condition violation because they restricted me from all public buildings under bail conditions uh, which is another future first amendment uh violation okay um so we are here today uh, to file this uh, paperwork lawsuit. I have it all written up right here. And uh, Chief Connors, I did give him the option live stream if you'd like to go see that. 
if uh, he would like to resign and uh, in favor of that, if he was to do so, I would not be filing a lawsuit. I Shenanigans. Na, 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 na. Shenanigans. Na, 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 na. And we're calling shenanigans, folks, because he is misleading his viewers and everyone else who's seen this video. All fraudsters want civil rights action lawsuits. That's their whole end goal. It's not about holding the government accountable. It's not about filming public employees in the course of their duties. No, it's about getting a payday. Either they get it from high views and clicks and subscribers and memberships and super chats, or they get it through the courts because that's their whole point. Look, for example, every time Chile says in an interaction with the police that he's going to file a 1983 civil rights violation lawsuit, every fraudster says when they are trespassed, when they are arrested, that they will be filing a civil rights lawsuit. Asking the chief of police just to resign and he wouldn't file a lawsuit is shenanigans because we know he would still find a way to blame the police department or the city of Charlestown and try to file a frivolous lawsuit. Do not want him in uh, the capacity that he is in at the moment or even back when. I'm demanding that you resign your position. Well, I'm not resigning, so that's, that's not happening. Okay. So, so well, so that's we'll the deal, Chief. You, you know, either you resign or, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll force that. Yeah. Yeah, well, good luck with that. Well, who, Resignation. Well, listen, you were arrested. Mm -hmm. There was probable cause for your arrest. No, there was not. Yeah. Obviously not, Connors. Come on. I, you still believe there was probable cause for my arrest, even after a not guilty plea. I do. So you do it all over again. So... Let me ask you, if I did what I did, no. word for word, the same time, no. you'd arrest me. So no. obviously you don't believe there was probable cause for it. At the time, you thought there was probable cause. Yeah. Okay, but you still don't think it's probable cause I, now. I think, it, I think it, if you did the same thing today... Mm. No, I, I would not arrest you. So we're going to go in here. I cannot record in the federal courthouse, but I will give you all updates. Uh, make sure you go check out. We're going to jump ahead to where after he goes into the courthouse to file his paperwork, because the rest of it is just him talking, plugging his channel and begging for money. Filing uh, the civil lawsuit against the police department in Charleston, New Hampshire. Uh, the next step here is um, to have them served. Uh, so the dispatcher um who had me arrested uh and chief connors also i have to go have them served so the next clip here will probably be me uh going to the charlestown police department and have them served in hand and uh you will um follow me along so make sure you guys keep track of what's going on updates make sure you also go look at that playlist like i spoke about before under the charlestown new hampshire playlist on my channel um, the fee here was $405. If you'd like to help support me continue in my activism in this lawsuit, um, please do so. I will have to have, uh, I will have to file more paperwork, I'm pretty sure. Uh <laughs> and? Uh, in the future. And um, I think that's going to be it over here today. I appreciate your support. All right, everybody. Um, so as you just saw, I was over at the federal courthouse over in Concord, New Hampshire, um, to actually do the filing for the 1983 on Charlestown, New Hampshire Police Department. And here I am over here now at the Charlestown Police Department to summons them and give them the complaint for the 1983. Uh, this building may look familiar, and uh, we're going to go here in a minute and uh, get Chief Connors out here so uh, I can serve him. And uh, I actually can't serve him myself uh, legally, so I'm going to have my girlfriend do so. And uh, we're going to record it. And uh, I am going to actually ask him to resign first. Uh, if he is willing to resign, as I told him before in my past videos, um, after my trial was concluded with a not guilty finding, I told him that if he resigns, I will not file a lawsuit. Well, he didn't resign. He's still here on the force acting as chief of police and uh like and if he resigns you still would have filed your frivolous lawsuit because that's your end goal go away money see it's not about getting him to resign it's a, about him getting his payday because he still would have found some reason he would have blamed the entire police department itself he still would have sued the city he would have still sued the uh woman working at the front desk now, 
as he said earlier, well, they didn't have probable cause for the arrest. That's why he got a, a not guilty verdict. No. At the time of his arrest, they had probable cause to arrest him. If they didn't have probable cause, they would have dismissed the charges before going. Like I said before, we're going to see if he can resign. I'll give him 30 days. And if he doesn't, uh, by the end of the 30 days, I will continue with the, uh, the filing. Uh, but as of today, he is going to be served along with the dispatcher and the police department as a whole. So we'll get inside here in a minute. We're waiting on Chief Connors, and uh, I'll see you then. All right, everybody. So let's go inside. Get uh, Chief Connors out here so I could have him served. We'll also see if the dispatcher here is available as well. Hello. Hi. Hi. Um, I need to see uh, Chief Connors. We're going to jump ahead to when the police chief shows up because there is some dead air and I don't want to have you guys subject to all the dead air and his whisper. This may look familiar, actually, uh, where Chief Connors was screaming and yelling at me about um, phone calls and I was actually arrested right now. Before the chief shows up to get his paperwork from this frivolous lawsuit, let's take a look, actually. At what got him arrested in the first place? Yeah, so. Did you have a bunch of people calling in that this guy incited? I did not incite it. I told them, do not call. No, I did not. Prove it. Prove it. Prove it. Did you hear him say that? I said, do not call. Okay. Look at my video. You're live with 600 people watching. 700 people. Well, you're going to get arrested for... Oh, am I really? Yeah, you better do your investigation and watch a live stream, Listen, Connors. In... You got 700 stop. people. Stop. No, I will not stop, Connors. You're Are you detaining arrest. me? I am. I'm under arrest. You're under arrest. For what? For obstructing... I am not doing that. I am not Turn making around. those phone calls. Turn around, put your hands I am not making those phone calls. Turn around. Guys, do not back. call. Turn around. Turn around. Put your hands behind your back. I'm not resisting, guys. Do not I'm being resist. under arrest, guys. Do not call Charlestown Police Department. I did not incite these phone calls. I said do not call Charlestown Police Department. I said if you have any questions or grievances, you can call dispatch on your own. Okay. You're telling people not to call the Charlestown Police Department, but yet you're telling them to call if they have any questions or grievances. So which is it? Do you want them to call or do you want them not to call? Because by your own words, you're telling people to do one thing while saying another. So this is why you were arrested for obstructing government operations. This is why you went to court. Because you're telling people to not call, but you're telling them to call. You got something to give me? Yeah, so do you want to go in here? Is it going to be long? Because no. i got a bunch of stuff going on. I know you do. All right. But we do have legal documentation okay. we have to serve you. Sure. Well, she has to. I can't. Okay. So, if you want to go in there real quick, and we'll separate the paperwork, and then be less than five sure. minutes. Morning. Yep. Oh. Um, so, I do have a lot of legal documentation I have to serve the department. Um, All right, let's go. She can go one at a time if you want. Go ahead. Did you want to? No, I can't serve him. There's three defendants the police department, yep. you, and then Serena Relihan. Okay. Um, so I'm going to consider this as served in here. Sure. Very good. And then Me this too. one is for the police department. Okay. One score. You have to take that up with your attorneys. Okay. There's all three legal documents there, and then you have one more for, um... Serena? Serena. Well, I'm not Serena, so do you guys... I know, but... Right. So, we could drop it off. Okay, I'll leave it for... The form yep. says that we could drop it off. Okay, very good. All right. Take care, guys. Um, well, I do have another... So, Foster, and I called the other day, yeah. and I spoke to Dispatcher Brown, and I asked 
A very simple question, okay? If Rollingham still works here. Yes. Yep, and I he, to the tape. It's a yes or no. It is a yes or no. It's Correct. public record. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't have to do a 91A for it. Nope, you shouldn't. And then Foster said the same thing. Yeah. I, I just, yeah. I mean, what's going on? Like. Yep, all set. It's all set. Yeah. Okay, so if I have somebody else call in like a few days or a few months, sure. it's, I'm not going to get that answer from nope. them, right? Because I know she's very professional. Yeah. She's great. She's the boss. She's the supervisor. Good. Supervisor. Okay, so she has an opinion she's on that already, too. She's already rectified it. Okay. Yep. Okay. All right. With with her with her subordinate, and I'll take yep. care of mine. Okay. So. All right. Yep. All set. All right. Thank you guys. Have a good day. Take care. Very welcome. Um, I do have one proposition. If you resign within 30 days, I will dismiss our case. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. Okay. Okay. I'm just, I got to ask you. Yep, so, care. all right. See you later, Chief. You've been served. And we're ending the video here. It does continue on for a few more minutes where he says that he is going through with his lawsuit and he is going to sue the city of Charlestown the police chief, the police department, and the dispatcher. And he's still going to try to get the police chief to be fired or get him to resign. I wish him all the luck in his delusional adventures. So if you guys like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave a thumbs up and a comment because it helps me with the algorithm. Don't forget to check out my second channel and the podcast. With all that being said, be well, be safe, and we'll see you guys next time. And a special thank you to all members of the news team. Without your guys' continuous, ongoing support, I could keep the channel going. So I want to thank you all personally from the bottom of my heart.